Plant material is probably where I'm a little bit insecure, just because I am just getting into the uh, getting into the whole gardening thing. Uh, but definitely, uh, I won't hit the nail on the head. I love I love birds. Uh, uh, photographing them in particular, I love uh, birds of prey and hummingbirds. They're uh, my favorite subjects to photograph. So um, this is one of my hatchier uh, ruby throat hummingbirds. Uh, it's a male bird. Doesn't have a, a red throat yet, just because it's his first. Uh, his first season. Uh, I'm pretty sure he uh, the, the nest was on the yard, although I, I wasn't able to find it just because I have terribly thick uh, thicken around. But uh, this is just last week in my in my backyard. Um, so first, a warning. Uh, this is kind of a tricky uh, subject matter. Uh, it, once you get into birds and wildlife uh, and photography in particular, it tends to take over. Uh, you start to take vacations to places where there are birds you haven't seen before. Um, you start to buy really expensive uh, photography equipment and huge lenses and big telescopes and, and uh, the devices to call them and laser pointers and all this. So, um, uh, Marino Chacon is a pioneer of uh, ecotourism in Costa Rica. Uh, he has a lodge called uh, Sedegri Lodge. Uh, it's on the continental divide in Costa Rica. So. You fly into San Jose, you take a two hour, two hour ride from the city, the first hour of which you're holding on to the seat for dear life because you're in San Jose and the roads are terrible. In the last hour and a half, you're holding on for dear life because you're on all these meandering uh, country roads with no uh, guardrails and uh, a generous description would be there uh, one and a half lanes and you've got two lanes of, of trucks going. So this is Pan American Route 2. So this is the road that goes north-south through Central America, Costa Rica, Panama, uh, and into South America. Uh, so Marino's on the left. Uh, there's a couple um, that they jumped in on our, our session. My, my wife got me a, a day of guided birding with Marino uh, on the first day we went to Costa Rica on this trip, which is a, a great present. Uh, Marino's looking for some Incredibly small warbler off in the, you know, the, the, the thick vegetation. I don't know how he sees anything down there. Um, but he asked me uh, before we went out. He said, "Do you really want to take your wife?" And I said, "Well, why?" And he said, "Well, because why would you want to take a perfectly sane individual and turn them totally crazy? <laughs> if she's not into this, why would you get her into this?" And he was he was dead serious. Um, so okay, so just a couple of birds from Marino's backyard. Uh, this was the guy we went down there to see, the resplendent Quetzal. Uh, so that bird, the, the, the tail feather is about three feet long, uh, and you can see the glittering uh, green color. So the bird actually has uh, no pigment in the feathers, that's all just from refracted light, just from the, the microstructure of the feathers. Uh, and you can see all the, uh, all the branches, how they're covered with bromeliads and other uh, epiphytes. And in, in the, all those, that, that moss, that's where all the, the bugs are. Basically all these birds down there just, they live off of these branches. They just go from branch to branch, uh, gleaning bugs out of that um, dense map. Uh, and even though he looks, you know, resplendent, uh, he blends in pretty good with the, uh, with the surroundings. But uh, the shot on the left, uh, I was coming down the trail and uh, he flew out in, uh, you know, staccato wing movements, but you had that, that flutter of the tail, and it was, you know, you just stopped and looked at it, so that's, I mean, we don't have anything like that in the, in the U.S., so it was, it was definitely worth the trip. Uh, 